Hi, hello, internet people. It is your least favorite content creator, Jer, here with another outfit ranking video. We are going to be discussing season five of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars for my top 10 favorite looks of the season. As always, remember, if your favorite did not make it on here, it does not mean that it was bad. It just didn't make my list. This was a pretty short season, so there are not a lot of really excellent looks to pull from. I did think that there were a couple standouts throughout the season that sort of dominated each category, and those will present themselves as they do. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Starting at number 10, which goes to Jujubee's Backyard Eleganza look. For me, this was the winner of the challenge. It was so well constructed, so well designed. I really love that there's even accessories to it. It looks cute, it looks camp. They got on Juju for not matching up the lines on the side, but it really wasn't that noticeable or that big of a deal in my opinion. I think she looks like a businesswoman and Juju's whole aesthetic is like a real woman at the mall. And this looks like someone that you would see maybe after brunch shopping at the mall, and I love her. In the number nine slot goes to Jujubee's top three Eleganza look. This is undeniably fierce. It is so outside of what we normally expect for Jujubee. And that's what was really impressive about her package for All Stars 5, was she went there to a place that I don't think a lot of us thought Juju was going to go to. I love this bodysuit. Normally I don't love those, but the applique, the stoning, the details here are immaculate, as well as this gorgeous headpiece. She looks like a goddess. Moving into the number eight slot is Jujubee's freak out look. Juju was really the only one that night for me that really did freak out. It looks like a weird cartoon monster, like from where the wild things are. I think all the mix of patterns is really fun with the corset, and I love me a corset if it makes sense. And because the corset pattern is also on the headpiece, piece and on the arms and on the chest and in the rings it makes so much sense this is a great look probably one of the most conceptual things i've ever seen juju in and that's why i loved it because it was really well thought out in the number seven slot is angina's all-star eleganza look this was at the finale of the season and i am kind of a sucker for a newspaper print I don't know if it's always been done very well. I feel like sometimes it looks a little cheap and tacky, but the way that Angina did it here with the black velvet lining that's underneath it, the latex gloves and the latex bow in the back, there's something that almost looks like um, a pile of garbage almost, like a really couture pile of garbage. Like the concept was urban eleganza and Angina said, all right, let's turn trash into a couture outfit. And that's not meant to be shade, it's a genuine compliment. Something in fashion that is evocative of something in the real world and manages to turn that into a look, I think is really incredible. Moving into the number six slot is Alexis Mateo's Work the World Variety Extravaganza. Alexis looked the best here that she did in the entire season. I think this orange creamsicle looks so good on her, and it was cool to see her come back in All Star 6 wearing the same color, and then doing that finale in Canada versus the World Season 2 in this exact same color. Orange creamsicle looks really good on her. She looks like a Vegas showgirl. I think it's a little bit of a simplistic silhouette, but all the feathers make it really interesting and bombastic. She looks like a star, and I think that she was the best dressed that night, and should have won that challenge. In the number five slot is Alexis Mateo's Backyard Eleganza outfit. Alexis made the best look that night right next to Jujubee, had no business being up for elimination. Turning this kid's pool toy into a mermaid skirt and then using all of these details like the solo cups to create this really visually interesting shape and structure on this gown I think was smart. Alexis looks like she's supposed to be at a backyard barbecue. It's evocative of that. It makes me think backyard barbecue. It makes me think party, good time because of the colors. She really did the damn thing and it's very upsetting that she went home this episode because I don't think that's how it should have gone. In the number four slot goes to Alexis Mateo's prom queen fantasy. Now, I'm going to be honest, it was between this and Jujubee's prom fantasies because I thought they both looked really good. 
Alexis looked a little more like what I would see at a current prom. This looks like something if you were walking through a JCPenney or a Ross or a Michaels or something. Michaels? I don't know why I thought Michaels, but you know what I mean. Macy's, I think, is what I'm thinking of. <laughs> you see the section that's prom, quinceanera, that whole concept there. And I think this very much looks like what a person would wear to such a prom event. Where Jujubees looked a little more like it was landlocked into the 80s, but it was still really cool. I think that Alexis was one of the best dressed that night in this category. And I will never not think about her wearing this red dress, holding that lipstick, saying, This is why Derek don't like you. In the number three slot is Shea Coulee's top three outfit. I love this hair. The height of it is probably the most impressive part of the look. Love this soft bubblegum pink on Shay. It makes her skin just absolutely pop in the best way. She looks luxe. She looks expensive. She looks like she is going to an event. And I love when you look at a look and you think that looks like a spectacle. And that's what this dress is. It is just marvelous. And I loved Shay's presentation in this dress. Moving into the number two slot is Come On Camo Couture for Shay Coulee as well. What I like about this, again, the height, I think it looks very 70s, 60s inspired. I love taking a camo print, which is kind of a blight among the fashion world and turning it into a color. I think colorful camo is always a smart move taking this blue and theming it around this busybody housewife who's probably outside gardening and listening to the tea of her neighbors, maybe bickering in the next yard over with this really lovely scarf over the hair. She looks like she might even get in a car and go do some spy shit or something. I also love that the watering can is themed to the camo as well. It's not the exact same print, but it's close enough and I think the fact that it's just a slightly different print adds some variety to this, some visual dissonance that I think is important. And I think the inclusion of, I guess this is probably organza on the skirt, is also really nice because it helps break up all that camo, which can be quite menacing when you look at it too long. I think Shay looks soft and powerful and strong and ferocious all at the same time. These little cunty glasses are it. Finally, the number one slot goes to none other than Shay Coulee's Love the Skin, You're in Runway. God, Shay looks so undeniably fabulous. She looks so incredible. The stoning on this bodysuit is insanity. These bodysuits have fallen out of fashion I feel like they were really popular for a hot ass minute. Everybody was getting these to do nude illusion and now we're just sort of doing regular body. And I love this idea that we're moving towards a more real body inclusive experience. But I also love high fantasy of having a bodysuit that is stoned for filth, has been probably spray painted just a little more to give it a little more depth. You can see that there's highlights on the shoulder, highlights on the side of the hips. You've got some shadows that are happening on the crease on the inside and the underarms. It's really glamorous and beautiful. I love the small hair with this. The makeup is really nice. I love the accessories and the jewelry. Everything about this is powerful. This is black excellence to a T. And I mean, Shay really could do no wrong that season. It's a shame that I couldn't include every single one of her looks, but I'm tired of y'all getting in these comments and saying, just make this a blah, blah, blah video. And y'all would have been like, just make this a Shay video. And you know what? I should have just made this a Shay video. It should have been Shay and Alexis only through the whole thing because they're my favorites. But I did a little bit of inclusion. I stuck Jujubee in there because she did really good. And I wanted to reward what she looked like in this season because this was her best season so far. But it was also a really great showing for Alexis. And it was an even better showing for Shay's runway package. So with that, that has been my top 10 favorite looks of the season. If you have a specific look that you thought was the best from this season, let me know in the comments below and I will see you on the flip. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Goodbye.